corona virus needs no introduction we all know the outbreak of it and uh, we know how people are taking precautions but i want to share the way which i feel is the best way to keep ourselves you know cautious about this virus uh, because it's easily contaminated uh, so especially working women's and working men's and school going children's need to boost their immunity system that can help them to stop getting contaminated through such viruses so here i'm sharing one such recipe that can help you to boost your immune system uh, with some particular foods which are rich in vitamin c b and e and uh, these are rich in antioxidant and really very helpful to boost your health so let's begin with the recipe guys to make the soup we will be using some fruits and vegetables which are of uh, vitamin c b and e uh, here i have some vegetables and fruits let me just show you i'm also using spinach uh, i'm using fenugreek spinach you can use uh, any other spinach which is good for cold especially we'll start with the uh, uh, cleaning the garlic pods and uh, chopping off the ginger ingredients list in the description box guys so do have a look at the description box next i will chop uh, coriander leaves celery mint leaves and the spinach which i told you it's fenugreek spinach i have washed my pot in a nice hot water and i'm going to add the ingredients to it once i add the ingredients i'll move on to the next here i have uh, beetroot and carrot which i will be peeling it off and grating it once i grate it i'll add that also to the pot moving on next i will use a broccoli broccoli is very rich in vitamin c b and e so i'm just going to roughly chop it along with tomatoes and bell peppers or capsicum any you can use so i'm using bell peppers so add this to the pot and add around 2 to 3 teaspoons of black pepper corns and uh, rosemary for nice essence and then water here i'll be adding at least 5 to 6 glasses of water because when i start boiling it i want to reduce the water to half of its total quantity which i will be adding in so if i'm adding 6 glasses of water i will be extracting minimum 3 to 4 glasses of drink from this vegetable broth so now i'll just gently tap my veggies and then add the water to it i will not add salt now before cooking in the vegetables i will not add the salt so let the cook vegetable cook on a medium to high flame for 20 to 30 minutes or until the water is reduced to half I think the veggies are beautifully tendered and they are cooked very well and even the water has reduced to half. Now it's the time to add the salt. Using a wooden smasher or a steel smasher, anything which is comfortable with you, just smash the veggies lightly to ensure that the juices are very well oozed and after 5 minutes using a strainer or a drainer, just drain the broth from it and remove the drainer from there. The strain or drain whatever you use it and place it back onto the same pot and try to smash off the veggies to remove the excess broth from the vegetables and to the same pot add the broth which you have collected so we'll just need to slightly give it a boil now bring this to a boil on a very medium to high flame add some chopped spring onions to it grate some black pepper corns or you can also use black pepper corn powder here i'm using a half lemon juice because it gives a nice flavor to your drink and a uh, little bit of uh, basil oregano and thyme because they have their own uh, uh, health benefits if you have you add otherwise you can uh, skip no problem you can add ajwain to it if you want and after 10 minutes of boiling my drink is ready to be served so i'm going to serve this drink to my family hope you guys have this drink prepare it and have it these recipe this recipe needs very simple ingredients very easy to make all you have to do is just chop it put it boil it drain it and drink it guys so drink this every day or at least twice in a week to boost your immune system and uh, to fight against not only corona virus but also any kind of health disease it can help you in heart heart disease it can help you in gout attack disease it can help you in corona virus or any kind of common cold 
virus so thank you guys thanks for watching stay tuned